Today I'm on the very south end of the island of Butte in Scotland. It's one of the Scottish Isles. Uh, I'm at a location called Blaine's Chapel. Blaine's Chapel is located just to my left on that hill right there. The first church that was ever planted there was in 500 AD uh, by a Celtic missionary named Cathan. And then his nephew became the preacher. His name was Blaine. That church today is called Blaine Chapel. Around that little chapel are my ancestors who are buried, the McCurdy family. Now where I'm standing here is very interesting. This is called the well, probably in use during the life of the Dark Age Monastery. That would have been the five and six hundreds. If you notice, I'm standing on top of it. It's actually a spring that comes out of the side of this hill. And when the spring is running, this is a pool of water. So the idea of a deep well is not what was being described in those ancient times. It was a pool of water. Now, why would these ancient Celtic churches have their churches built right by a well that was like this that I'm standing on so that they could baptize their converts by immersion? Every church that's connected to the Celtic church, either in Scotland or in Ireland, always has a well around it, nearby it. This is the well at Blaine Chapel in the island on the island of Butte, Scotland. So here is evidence that the ancient Christians in that time uh, led their converts to Christ and baptized them by immersion, by immersion. That's exactly what Patrick would have done. That's what Columba would have done. That's what Blaine and Catherine would have done long, long ago. So this is a very fascinating place to me. This entire property around me was owned by my family, the McCurdy family. Just over this hill is a farm that was in McCurdy hands just until recently. A farmer on the hill told me just a few minutes ago that it just sold not long ago. So this is my ancient homeland. This is my ancient church that goes back to the 500 ADs. And this is an ancient baptistry that no doubt my kinfolks are baptized in. Hallelujah.